so good. I am so glad you invited me in to see your room. <laughs> you didn't tell me your name. Sean. Is that your real name? I didn't want you to know my name. I would have said so. I don't know if it was your name or the name that you use in your ad. What? What ad? You're an escort, right? We should work together sometime. No. Why would you think that? This is a known escort hotel. The clients can just drive right up to the room and not be seen. Even I use this hotel whenever my family comes to visit because it is so close to my apartment. You're an escort. <laughs> yeah. But the way you look and this big dick, you could make a lot of money. Look, I, I appreciate that. I really do. And I'm not judging you by any means. It's just, it's, it's not for me. And uh, look, this is a lot of fun, but uh, I'm starting to get really hungry. I'm gonna get some food. I'm getting hungry, but it's like, oh, dick, okay, right? okay. Maybe, maybe another time. All right, have another time. <laughs> you wanna exchange numbers? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll probably run into each other at some point, so. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> well, I hope to, uh, run into you and that big dick again. There you go. I'll see you later. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll see you later. Hey, what's up? I slept with an escort, okay, and, and, and <laughs> he didn't tell me that he was an escort till after I did him. <laughs> How did that even happen? And then when I came back to the hotel, there was this really hot guy there, and so we talked, and then we, we, we hooked up, and then he doesn't tell me he's a whore until after we hooked up. <laughs> Oh my god, you're so dramatic. Corinne, I feel disgusted right now. I had whore spit on me. How long did you shower? Because you know you feel really dirty when people touch you after having sex. I don't know why I call you. Well, because I'm the only one who understands and accepts you with your crazy ass. Not funny. Come on, mom, get off the phone. We're starving, we're ready to eat. My head is starting to hurt again, so I'm gonna get off the phone, okay? I'll talk to you tomorrow. Try not to have sex with any more hookers. Who is it? Hey, Papa, it's me, Joe. What are you doing here? I uh, brought some food. Thought you might be hungry. Look, what we did yesterday was cool, but you can't just fucking come here up and else like this. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I know you just moved to LA, and with the time change and the travel and the hot sex we had the other day, I thought, I don't know, maybe you might be tired, so. So you're not busy having sex for money tonight? No. Then come in. Oh, this is my favorite Thai restaurant. They have the best food. Let me ask you a question. Hmm. How long have you been a prostitute? I'm not a prostitute. I'm an escort. What's the difference? Price. Seriously? Yeah. Hey, Corinne. I found a great place in WeHo for my office. The office even has a private balcony. <laughs> anyway, uh, did you know that John didn't come home till after tea this morning? Where the hell was he? He says that he was driving around and then pulled over and fell asleep in the car. Oh, you think he was cheating? No. <laughs> but there's gotta be something up. Um, do you think he's cheating? Fuck no. 
Who else would take his ass? <laughs> oh, you kill me. What are you doing? Oh, a friend brought me dinner. A friend? What friend? Uh, the guy I met yesterday. Oh, horse bitch. I'm hanging up now. I'll talk to you later. Okay, have fun. Just don't screw horse spits. Bye. I'm so sorry. That is, uh, it's my best friend. So you told her about me. It is definitely not what you think. So what do you do? I'm a photographer. For what? You're a porn site. Men? Women. That's when we moved from New York. I thought you moved from Miami. Oh, I did. We started the website in New York. I got a job offer in Miami. Things weren't working out for either of us where we were, so. I suggested we move to LA. We? Oh, me and my best friend. So you all moved out here together? Oh, no. <laughs> she moved out here last month with her husband and her three kids. And I kept all my stuff at her place while I'm looking for my own apartment. And I just got here yesterday, like I said. So have you started looking for an apartment then? Oh yeah. I actually found a place I liked earlier, but the landlord was asking for two months security plus the rent. And I can't afford that. I know how you could make the money. No. You could make so much money. You're a hot top otter with a big dick. White guys with big dicks make so much money. It's like a fucking unicorn. Look, I can speak for white men and say that there are a lot of us with big dicks. Yeah, but a white guy with a big dick is just more marketable. Black guys are supposed to have big dicks, so that's no big deal. And Latin guys can have whatever size they want because you just want a hot Latin. Asian guys are the least requested. That sounds racist. Well, it's the business. And you could do a lot of business. I make $500 an hour, and I don't stand on street corners or in dark doorways waiting for some stranger to come pick me up in his car and go fuck me in an alley. Unless that's what the client's fantasy is. My clients find me on a private site for upscale companions, and they pay me for my exclusivity and my discretion. Doesn't it bother you to have sex with strangers? Does it bother you to have sex with strangers? Back to your question. I have sex with strangers and I get to live the life that I want with the ability and the finances to pursue my career. You have sex with strangers and you get me and take out Thai food. Okay, so when did you start escorting? Well, I'm an actor. I wanted to be the next Justin Timberlake, but I can't sing or dance or really even act. So just like Justin Timberlake. Ooh. We don't make fun of Justin Timberlake. <laughs> uh, but I know I have what it takes to become a star. So when I found out that I was eligible to join SAG. What's SAG? SAG AFTRA. It's um, our union. It's the only real way to become a star. Meryl Streep, Idris Elba, Justin Timberlake, and me all are members of SAG AFTRA. So when I found out I was eligible to join, I didn't have the money to join. How much did it cost? Several thousands of dollars. I tried to borrow it from people, but nobody believed in my dream of becoming a star. I'm Italian, so my friends told me I should all this stuff, you know, dreaming and, 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 and move back home. I'm from Missouri. <laughs> and they told me I should grow up and just get a job out here. But you don't come to LA to get a regular job. You come out here to live the dream. So I went online trying to see if there was any way to make some quick money and I saw an ad looking for hot young guys so I answered it. And it was for escorting. No, please don't interrupt. Um, it was asking for a face and body shot so I sent one in and it was for jerk off videos. Now I can't be the next JT with videos out there of me yanking my cock so I kept looking and that's when I found an escorting site. He for he. And uh, it's not the one that I'm on now though but mm. Had you ever done it before? Escorting? Oh, no. I had been hooking up with lots of hot guys, often, and for nothing. But this website let you see the pictures of people who wanted to hire you, and then you could pick and choose. So if the guys were hot, I f and I would have had sex with them anyway, I figured why not make some money off it. So if you were enjoying yourself and you got everything that you wanted, why did you keep doing it? Because it's easy money, and I like doing it. And Hollywood hasn't discovered me yet, so until they do... Thank you for the lesson in slinging dick. 
You're talking to an expert. I'll figure something else out. Things will work out from there. They always do. Hello? Hey, lady. Hey. How was horse spit? It was just a meal. That's it. Mm. Well, if he's willing to take you out, you might as well just go and save your money. Well, uh, speaking of money, uh, I found an apartment. Good. Where? That's in Hollywood. Um, listen, Corinne, uh, would it be possible for you to give me a, an advance on my pay? I mean, the, the landlord's asking for two months security because I don't have any credit history. Um, I don't know. How much do you need? Two thousand. Two grand? I don't have that type of money to loan out. I mean, it, it wouldn't even be a loan, Corinne. It would be like an advance. Is he there? No. He went out again. Good. He's such an asshole. I don't know what you see in him. Well, it's simple. He's fine and he makes me come. <laughs> but I really, I just can't afford to give you two grand. Like, I just don't have it. You know if I could, I would, but I really just can't, Sean. God, who am I going to get $2,000 from in a city that I just moved to? You're the only person I know that I can ask for money, Corinne. Hey, what if you just ask Horsebit for the rest? He's a prostitute, he should have it. <laughs> or, oh, you tell him that you're gonna charge him $2,000 for this sex that you had. I don't know him well enough to ask to borrow money. But you know him well enough to screw? Anyway, um, look, I'll ask around and see who else I can hit up for some money. All right, let me know. Make sure you ask Horsebit. Good night. Joe? Yes. Hey, it's uh, Sean. Oh, hey, Poppy, what's up? Can you talk? Yeah, I'm just getting ready for a client who lives in Westwood. He's in love with me. He's a regular of mine. He sees me once a week. That's great. Um, look, Joe, I'm just, I'm just going to come right out and say it. Um, you know my living situation, right? Yes. My best friend won't loan me the money that I need to pay rent, and I figured maybe I could ask you if you could... No. Wait, no what? I don't loan money. It causes problems. Joe, come on. I, I, I need $2,000 or else I can't pay my rent, and, and I, then I'll, I'll be stuck. I'll, I'll, I've wasted money on this hotel room. I'll be stuck. I'll be homeless. Technically, you're already homeless. I cannot loan money. Please, I'll, I'll pay you back. I'll write an IOU or something. I don't loan money. But I think I can do you a favor. What kind of favor? I can bring you to my trick tonight. He loves to watch me freak with other hot guys. Um, he'll probably just sit there and play with his dead cock. Uh, he pays everybody, and he's rah, rah, rich. I don't know. Look, he's not going to touch you. Ooh, I'll tell him that you're straight and that you're just doing it for the money and that you don't like other guys. These freaks, they love that gay for pay bullshit. Uh, you've had sex with in front of people, I assume? Yeah. Now you can do it for $500 an hour. Look, you and I have already had sex and it was good. And we're probably going to have sex again. You need your money, you get your money. And we have hot sex, and you don't have to compromise yourself because you're not having sex with someone else for money. You can just consider it a, a donation to the Sean... 
What's your last name? Lawson. To the Sean Lawson, welcome to LA Fund. I'll call and let him know that you're coming. I'll call you back. Wait, wait Joe. He said no, right? No. No, he said yes. I really sold you. I told him that you were a straight boy with a 10 incher. 10? Close enough. Anyway, he wants to meet up at 10, so I'm going to pick you up at 9.15 so we have enough time to get to his place in Westwood. Are you sure all he wants to do is watch us together? I'm positive. I told him that that's all you'll do. 500, right? 500 an hour. Sometimes he keeps this for three, four, sometimes eight hours. We're just going to play it by ear. But I have to go. I'm going to get ready. I don't want to be late. I'll see you at 9.15. So, Papa? You ready? I don't think I can do this. Joe. I can't believe I made so much money!